Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Spelunky. We are going to do something a bit different today. We are going to go... Oh, God! We are going to go for the Speedlunky achievements. What that means is we have to beat the game, and by the game, I mean Olmec, not Hell, in under 8 minutes. I think that gives us an average of 30 seconds a level. So, you've also got to account for the fact that Olmec is going to take you a hell of a lot longer than 30 seconds, unless you get really lucky and get, like, two Matrix or something. Which, let's be honest, ain't gonna happen. We don't need the Ujanai, but I think we may as well grab it whilst we're here. You never know, we might see an amazing item in the rocks or something that we can always grab. The compass would be extremely useful, especially on the ice caves, so we're gonna bomb those. Hopefully that'll give us enough money, grab the cash, go get the compass, and then get the fuck out of here with our duck. So yeah, I'm getting fairly good at this. This is not my first attempt, be aware of that. I have practiced quite a bit, but uh, I'm getting to at least, you know, the ice caves or the temple with fair consistency. But since Olmec's gonna take way over 30 seconds, we've gotta at least try to get these levels done in sort of more like 15 or 20. And we are making really, really shit time here. This is more like 45 seconds, this is not good. However, we can make the time up on the ice caves. Usually you can get those done very quick. 41 seconds, yeah, way too damn long. If we can get a cape or something, combined with a compass, this is a shitty situation, I'm just gonna drop a rope. Combined with a compass, the cape on the ice caves, you can get the levels done in like 5 or 10 seconds. You can make up tons of time there. Apparently, if you beat a level in under 20 seconds, you don't get a dark level on the next level. I don't know if that's actually confirmed, but that's what I've heard, so... If we can get under 20 seconds, hopefully, if that does ring true, then we should not get any dark levels. That was 19, and that way we don't get completely screwed over, because of course you can do a dark level in the usual amount of time, but the problem is you don't know where the hell you're going, so you are likely to land on spikes, or run into a giant spider of death or some shit like that, so uh, yeah, not good. Now I'm getting, like I said, I'm getting fairly good, oh god damn it, I suck. <laughs> That skeleton just suicided, that was amazing. Anyway, yeah, like I say, I'm getting fairly good at getting to at least the ice caves or the temple with fair consistency on speedruns, because, as I've mentioned before, as long as you're not trying to get treasure or kill all the enemies and shit, this is a bad situation, I'm just gonna bomb down here. Don't get hit by the Tiki Trap. Yeah, anyway, as long as you don't dick around, and you don't just jump on spikes or something silly, then you can fairly easily get through the levels a lot easier than if you were trying to get gold and shit, because that is where you start risking your life unnecessarily, and start taking damage and all kinds of crap like that. However, the problem being, you've got to really survive on a speed run on your bare 4 HP that you begin with. You can, as you saw at the beginning, get a damsel here or there, that you might get lucky and it's in your path or something, but uh, for the most part, you just don't have the goddamn time. Try to see the ash grave, there it is. Okay. Jesus. Right, if we can kill this guy, it's gonna take more time, but if we can kill this guy, we get a cape. As I mentioned, that's gonna be insanely useful on the ice caves. And now we can get the shotgun if this guy will. Oh, thank you. Jesus, that was scary. Anyway, now we have the cape, insanely useful on the ice caves, and we have a shotgun. We got a boom stick. I would like to grab the damsel, but we just don't have the time for that. It might be worth me taking the uh, path down there into the Castlevania level, but we've never done that on camera yet, so we'll do that when we're not speedrunning. Plus, I don't really know what the hell to expect in there. So that will probably get me killed, but that's probably a quicker exit, but that's okay. An extra five seconds to ensure we don't die on something we don't fucking know is probably a good idea. 50 seconds, yeah, way, way too long. I'm hoping the cape pays for itself, and you know, the boomstick. And of course, there is damsels everywhere now that I'm carrying my shotgun. You're not worth my time. I need my shotgun. Oh, just run. Okay, there is a beehive there. We could get the raw jelly. That's an extra, I think, four or five HP. That would be really, really useful. However, it's going to be kind of risky, but again, it might be worth it. Okay, this frog is right in the damn way. Run. Oh, shit. What the hell's going on, man? Holy crap. That was scary. Jesus. I don't know how the hell I got out of there. 23 seconds. A little bit slow, but that's okay. Just go. Like I say, we will make up the time on the ice caves, hopefully. And we have another dead or restless level. What the hell, and why did I come down here? That was a stupid idea. Go boom! Get out of here, Count. Go back to Sesame Street. Two shotgun blasts to the face. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Gotta love the Count, man. He was my favorite character on Sesame Street. We got a camera. God damn it. Da -da -da -da. Careful. We always get cameras, man, when we don't want them. I just want bombs or ropes or something. Anyway, I think we're on the ice caves. Yes, we are. That's awesome. But now we really need to start making up time. Just gotta be careful. Don't run into mines or get frozen by mammoths and shit. Careful of that damn thing as well. We know how they work. Yes, we freaking do. Just gotta glide all the way down to the bottom. That was a fairly quick level, all things considered. But you can do it a lot quicker than that. Yeah, nine seconds. That's some good time. I think I've done it in like four or five before. Just pretty much dropping all the way down to the bottom and activating the thing at the very last second. Kind of like that. How long was that? It's got to be nearly my record, hasn't it? Five seconds. Damn it, one away. See what I mean, though? 14 seconds and we did two levels. We spent 50 on one of the jungle levels. 50? That's crazy. Get away from the mic. Holy shit. That was scary. That's got to be under like 10 seconds, right? Seven. 
21 seconds, three levels. Like I say, man, it's still well under half of what we took on one jungle level. You know, gosh, Jesus. Anyway, yeah, if we can do this one quickly, Jesus Christ, leave me alone, Yeti man. If we can do this one quickly, and I think we have, then we're in a really good position here, yeah. Under four minutes, so we got another four minutes to do the entirety of the temple, including Olmec. We can do it, man. It'll probably only take about two minutes, something like that, to take out Olmec. Assuming we don't take a shitload of time and just dick around. Okay, run, run away from the thwomp. Oh my god, there's another one there. That's not good. Right, don't get hit by the one on the right. Okay, <laughs> it was really, really scary. Get out of here, cavemen. Why are there so many thwomps and freaking tiki traps, man? Why do you hate me so much, fellow geek? Go away, da da da. Okay, there's the noobies. We don't care about him. Get away from him. Of course, he's directly in our path. God damn it, there's a skeleton as well. Why is there so much shit going on? Leave me alone. I just want to get to Omex. That's all I want. Right, go, don't land in the lava. Go, no. God damn, you know I'm gonna die. You son of a bitch. Gotta hate those Hawkmen. That sucks. But it was a good attempt, man. It wasn't bad. We almost got to the second level of the temple and we were making pretty damn good time. It's unfortunate though, because the cape and the compass do not show up, especially when you're speedrunning that often. So, you know, we got kind of lucky with items there. Plus, we got a boomstick as well. We got a couple of easy damsels. You never know, we know it could happen again. If we can just get the compass, the cape isn't that necessary. We can kind of drop down fairly quickly in the ice caves as long as we know where we're going. That's kind of priority one. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, if you're wondering why I'm playing as a little gold button dude, I found him on the City of Gold in one of those coffins. I think he's kind of, you know, a rare character that shows up there sometimes. Probably gonna go upload that run, because literally nothing else happened. It was kind of lackluster, but yeah, cool character. I like the way he shines. Looks awesome, man. He's probably my favorite character, him and the ninja. But I haven't got the ninja yet. Gotta want the ninja. I think you get the ninja for uh, the top of Olmec. I think sometimes up there where the crates and shit are. God damn it. I want all of this. We should really rob him. Ouch! Why'd there have to be a snake in there? I'm not gonna rob him, it's not worth it. We're just gonna get okay. Gonna get enough money to get the compass and then buy it, and then maybe we'll consider robbing him. I really shouldn't. Why do I listen to the devil on my shoulder? God damn it's fine. <laughs> I couldn't resist. We got the jetpack, we got the compass. That's even better than the cave when we have a boomstick. Problem being, now we gotta worry about the shopkeeper at the end of every goddamn floor. Plus, you know, any possible shops on the way there. We gotta be careful we don't accidentally run right into one and get our tits blown off because it could quite easily happen. Also, you know, the cape, it kinda makes you immune to landing on spikes as long as you're floating down, so the jetpack doesn't do that, so we still have to be very careful, especially on these levels, which I usually riddle with the goddamn things. Of course, there's a freaking Sheila, right? Bounce his head and then go. That's kinda gonna be our tactic. As long as we can do that, otherwise we're gonna throw bombs at him, shoot him, whatever the hell we have to do to just get past the bastard. That's all I want to do. Well, I'll be honest with you, I do not like the look of this level whatsoever. There are tiki traps and luchadors literally everywhere, and I can't stand the luchadors, man. They look harmless, but no. They are dangerous as hell, they are so goddamn quick. I almost dropped down in front of that boomerang guy. That would've killed me. That would've really pissed me off. Okay, don't get killed by the shopkeeper. Okay, kaboom! Run, go, just go. Okay, we're out of there. Thank God for that, that was so damn close. He literally got up and jumped past the doorway. Okay, that's gonna be kind of my tactic here. Just shoot him in the face and then run the hell out of there. We don't really need to worry about killing them. As long as we can get out, that's all that matters. And of course there are dogs, okay. Jesus, dude, don't do that. You scared the crap out of me. See what I mean? The freaking luchador's just ambush you. Okay, I do not know what happened with the shopkeeper there, but he just blew that luchador's head off and that's good enough for me. Okay, two more jungle levels, then we're on the ice caves. Then it's gonna get a hell of a lot easier. You are not home free. There is no guarantee that the guy's gonna fall into the pits in the abyss or he's gonna die to a tiki trap on the temporary. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Or an arrow trap or whatever, but uh, it's bloody likely. So you gotta at least have to deal with less of them, probably. You always get unlucky and have terrible levels, but uh, as is the way of Spelunky. Run, just run past everything. There are freaking enemies everywhere. Oh my God, I'm gonna ride jetpack fuel. Okay, that was close. What the hell is going on? How the hell did you not die? You practically landed on those spikes. Oh my god. No, no, no. Go. Okay. Okay, we made it. Thank Christ for that. We're on the ice caves. Like I say, it should get easier from now on because uh, hopefully this shopkeeper will fall to his death in the abyss. Or you know he'll walk into a mine or in a temple he'll get shot by an arrow trap. Ouch! God damn you. Or a tiki trap or a mummy will kill him or something. It could always happen. No, of course, this one's in a shit position, but that's okay. Somehow, we got out of there. That was very, very close. Like I say, we still have to rush. We have to get our time down. We've really, really got to make up ground here because uh, we had some really shit. Oh, Jesus. We had some really shit jungle levels there that took forever. Holy crap. That guy just jet propelled out of there. What the hell? As long as it doesn't shoot me, I don't care. But that was scary. I may have just shit my pants. Not kidding. 
Right, yo, just run. Holy shit, there's an alien shooting at me already. Hey, you know, it's great to say I lift down. It's probably ain't gonna save me any time. Oh, Jesus. Okay, go. Just go. Okay. One more ice caves level. I think we're making good time now. I think we're about where we were before. In fact, no, we're going a hell of a lot quicker. We're exactly on three minutes. We got one more ice caves level. So we have nearly five minutes to do the entirety of the temple. That's crazy. But of course, we got a really shitty level here with enemies literally everywhere. And I do not want to go. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we're alive. Holy crap, we're down to 1 HP, we got a shotgun, it almost fell in the abyss, but the point is it didn't. Now, uh, 1 HP is not good, don't get me wrong, however, we are on the temple. Most things here are gonna insta-kill us anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. It's probably gonna matter in the Olmec fight, because there's gonna be enemies all over the place. So I might just die to one of those, or I could die to that bird man. Holy shit! Yo, just run! Don't get hit by that freaking arrow trap, man. I almost dropped down throwing that. Oh no! No, no, no! Okay, we're alive. There's a thwomp in a really bad position. Yo, run. Don't trust the skeletons. Just go. Don't get killed by Shawshank. Come on with the thwomps, man. What the hell? All right, we're going to bump through here. Thwomp, get away from me. I'm watching you. Go, run, run. Holy shit. Get in there. Oh my god, that was scary, but we survived. Somehow we survived. 28 seconds. Not bad time, all things considered. Like I say, we're actually making really good time here. Mostly thanks to the jetpack that we horribly murdered the shopkeeper for. And I do not regret it. Right, we're gonna bump through here, because, uh, of course, I've gone the wrong bloody way. And this is... Oh, God. That's pretty scary. No, not that way. It's kind of close to the exit. And that means the shopkeeper... No, he's dead. Oh, thank God for that. In fact, I don't see him, but I guess he jumped in the lava or something. Whatever, I don't care. As long as you're not in my face, man, I'm good with that. In 18 seconds... That's good. I feel like if we get to Olmec, we stand a really good chance here. Of course, we just have to still get to Olmec. Only one more level to go, and there's a shop over there. I do not really want to deal with that, so we are not going to. He could have some good shits, like bombs or whatever, but I will get myself killed. Of course he does. He has 24 freaking bombs. God damn you, game. I am so tempted to go back for those, because 24 bombs is pretty much a guaranteed Olmec victory, because we could just bomb our way all the way through the floor and not have to deal with his bullshit, but, uh... I will die to the shopkeeper, or the thwomp, or the freaking tiki trap, or whatever's there, so it's not worth the risk. Point is, we are on Olmec. It's the moment of truth. Now, first things first, we are going to fly up to the ceiling, grab all those delicious crates up there, and get whatever the hell we can. If we can get a shitload of bombs, which is always a possibility, it ain't that likely, but we could possibly have enough to bomb our way through the floor. Should we have seven? That ain't that bad. We got ten. Awesome. I think you need more like fifteen, so a couple of crates of bombs, man. There's a secret character up there. That might be the ninja. That would be amazing if we could do both at the same time. We got the ninja, yes! <laughs> and we might have enough bombs here. This is awesome. I think we might. Holy shit, I think we can do this. We got really, really lucky here. I ain't gonna deny that, but sir. First things first, we gotta get rid of this guy. Otherwise, he will kill me. He's gotta remember we have one HP. Now, get rid of all the enemies, bomb through the ground, then just get out of there. Holy shit, there are enemies everywhere. I don't trust those guys. I almost landed on that bubble. Holy crap. Okay, thank you. That guy's dead. They are easily the most dangerous enemy here because they are so good damn directing. You jump around all over the damn place. As long as we don't get a wasp or something, then we should stand a good chance because, again, they are erratic as balls. Now, like I say, I'm pretty damn sure we have enough bombs, but I want to make sure, goddammit, this might cause me to die and I would look like a complete moron, but uh, it's really, really hard to get Olmec to stamp really far down, so if we run out of bombs right near the bottom, we are going to be screwed. So I feel like we've made a big enough pit. We are just going to go for it. Hopefully he's far enough off screen. Frog, do not land on my head. I swear to God, I will cry. I will literally cry. I'm not kidding. Okay, we easily have enough bombs here. Yeah. Ten might even be enough. I was too close to that bomb. That was a little bit scary. Right, we've got a pit. we got to make sure it's big enough. We've got to get him down here first time. Okay, we should really get rid of one of these blocks. That should be enough. Jesus, I was so close to the lava just then. Okay, yo, got to remember we're on a time limit. Yo, 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 Snake, you're in a really shit position. Snake? Meryl. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, don't take full damage. Holy shit, that would be the worst way to die. I think we did it. I'd be very surprised if that took like four minutes. Yes, speed lucky achievement, get or. <laughs> and we even unlocked the ninja man. Greatest run ever. Holy shit, I could not be more happy with that. And we bit Olmec on camera. Suck it. And now we get to look at my pitiful gold score. I think you get an extra 50k bonus if you beat Olmec, but not if you go to hell. We didn't even get 26k. Holy shit. I suck. 6 minutes 27, man. Not bad. A lot quicker than I was expecting. But yeah, anyway. Next time, we will try and take on hell. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I always appreciate your luck. And I'll see you guys next time for more Spelunky.